<sighs> well, finally did it. Got all the necessities for the temple of the ve temples of the vengeful monkey. <laughs> Pretty sure that's an error. Don't quote me on that though. Anyway though, spent a lot of time working on this and it's finally gonna pay off. Just making this quick video to show y'all, you know, what it does and everything. Now while this isn't exactly the perfect setup for the temple, you know, don't exactly have all the proper sacrifices, but, you know, with the limited upgrades and towers and everything, I kind of had to improvise, but, oh, oh, using it's not work for some reason, eh, not that big a deal. Okay, I'm pretty sure everyone's here to see this, so let's just get this party started. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty awesome. That freaking smile. I mean, look at it. Look at that thing in the bottom left corner. That's just terrifying. I would hate to wake up in the middle of the night and see that right next to me. I cry. And holy crap, look at that thing go. It's beautiful. Yep, Temple of the Vengeful Monkey. This is something you get from finding the special item, Dark Temple Idol. You get that, and it automatically turns the temple into this freaking scary thing. I'm not too sure exactly what it does, like the beam looks different. I'm just going to assume it's more powerful than usual. Which I'm down with, I mean, you know, more power better. Man, look at that thing go. Man, if I had more cannons, imagine how much more powerful it would be. Yeah, not much else to say here, honestly. I mean, it's awesome. That power. Man, you would not believe how long it took me in order to actually get all the stuff for this temple. Because seeing that the cities are going to be wiped sometime next week, so I kind of had to hurry this up. And I had to thank the person who loaned me this account in order to get the temple, because he had the Dark Temple Idol item, which you randomly find in a chest. His name, I believe, is Lechu. If I said that wrong, feel free to correct me. And I gotta also thank everybody else who supported me in this long trek of getting the temple. It it was a lot of work. Had to stay up countless nights working on the game in order to get it. And I think it paid off rather nicely. Very nicely. Better get this going just to the heck of it. <sighs> but, yeah, I did it somehow and Actually, really, I got the temple twice. I mean, I got it the first time on my main account, and the second time on this one. Ugh, that was not easy, I tell you, but... Like I said, it's totally worth it. Well, also, when the cities get wiped, I can now plan out my route better in order to get this thing faster. So, you know, it's a pretty good long-term investment. In a way. Uh, I don't know why these... Every time I record a video, it seems to lag a little bit for some reason. And whenever I'm doing anything else, there's like no lag. I got into a free play and I've experienced little to no lag. But I record a simple video... All of a sudden, it's like frames dropping everywhere. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I'll probably cut off the video after this round, I mean... There's not much else to show really at this point except for the fact that it looks all cool and terrifying. It's super powerful. It's beautiful. <sighs> that smile. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that go. I just won't. Freaking smile. Okay, yeah, I dragged this out way more than enough. 
Anyway, though, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I'll be doing more Moon's Monkey City videos in the future. Hopefully, something as cool as this. Except for my commentary, which is mediocre at best. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I played the ZMG's Last Balloon. Ugh. And I will be seeing you all later. Have a good one.